Hello again. Um, okay, continuing on with the RP2040. And uh, this is where we left it last time. Um, and I've, I've been kind of looking at things a little bit. And, and up here in the corner, this is the IRDA interface. And the, notice that all the traces come clear over to the left side of the part. You know, that might be easier if I put it over on the right side. I mean, I could make it work. There's not that many parts on this board. But um, just for an example, we're just going to go ahead and move it. Now, the uh, if you look at the data sheet for the, the RP2040, um, eh, let's see here. If you look at the data sheet, uh, <clears throat> a lot of these pins, we can, we can reroute things around to some level. And I've got that IRDA interface sitting on pins 4, 5, and, and 6, or GPIO 4, 5, and 6, I believe. Let me look. So, yeah, on, here's my IRDA interface on the schematic, and it's a GPIO 4, 5, and 6. And the, the IRDA SD, that's, that's kind of like a chip select enable thing. So that's just a high-low. That can go to any I.O. pin. But the RX and TX lines have to go to specific, the, uh, the internal UART stuff, and it's going to UART 1. And if I, if I go to um, pin 4 is UART 1 TX is one of the options, and that's the one we're using here. But, you know, GPIO 24 is also available for that, and then GPIO 25 is also avail available for that. So if I flip those over to the other side, it'll make routing just a little bit easier. And then uh, the, the A to D converters are also on some of these pins. Let me look back up here. Um, they're on pins 26. So when I, when I, the other pin, which is on pin 6, instead of moving it to GPIO 26, I'm going to flip it down to 23. So let me go ahead and make those changes. And then we'll map them over. So what I want to do is just come out just a little bit here. And so here's 24 and 25, and here's 23. Let me move that up just a little bit. Oops. And I need to get rid of the little no connects. So I'll, it's going to be go to my uh, erase, and I want 23, 24, and 25 go away. And I want what was on pin four, uh, GPIO 4 to go to 24. So we're going to hit the escape key to things. I know you can't see the keys. That's kind of inconvenient. And I'm going to move this thing. This is on pin 4. So this needs to go to GPIO 24. Rotate twice. And I'm going to put it right there. Actually, I should probably move it over a notch just to be consistent. So I'll put a trace there. Um, then I'm going to take the TX line, which was on GPIO 5, and I want to make it go to 25. Rotate twice, and we'll put it right there for 25. And then the SD line, we'll take that, and no, not that part. I want to be over here. Move this, rotate it twice, and I'm going to bring it down to GPIO 23. Need to put traces in for those. And then I need to put in the no connects on these guys. Oh, I can delete those little pieces of traces too. Let me get rid of those just, just to be complete. Okay, escape a couple times, click the no connects. Okay, so that's now updated. We save it. Let me go back to board layout and it's still showing these long rat's nest lines over to here and I can say update update PCB with changes made to schematic and if I click that no warnings no errors update okay again no errors there and close now you can see that these are over here which will be a little bit easier for us to reach so okay so we can we can continue on our merry way with uh, putting in these traces now <clears throat> I've got, um, well, let's just, you know, let's just see what we can get away with here. 
Um, and we'll just work our way on around. Every, everything else looks like it's it's it could fix just you know could fit just fine. So let's go to um, this is a ground trace. I don't know how big I can get in there, and I want to be on that level. Let's click that. This ground has got to be big. I can't get that. Oh, I can get it through there to the edge of the board. That's good. Okay, so that one's there. And I'm just going to continue this on down here. Okay, so there's that. I've got the SW clock and SWDIO. Um, those two traces cross, and I could do that, but there's no specific order I need to do on things. So I can come in here and let me just take this whole connector here and just rotate it twice. Okay, hit the escape key. Notice now the wires, or are they crossed now? I thought they weren't crossed before. Let's try this again. Oh, that's better. Okay. And I need to move it back to where it was. So now I've got those. Okay, so now they're not crossed. So now I need to put those traces in. Um, SW clock, SW DIO, again, really, really small signals. They aren't going to make a whole lot of difference. And... You know, I guess I got the crystal wires that go across these two also. Let me grab those first because those are going to cause me the, the actual grief. And those are, are six mil traces because they're they're just signals only. So let me just do this. Okay. And that means these will actually have to jump to the other sides anyway. I was hoping to avoid that, but that's okay. So let me grab that, put a V for via. Now I'm on the blue side. You know, that, that part already goes through the board, so I can just come on down here. There's that one. This one. Again, we just need a via. Let me zoom out, zoom in. Okay, we're down to 59 unrouted. Oh, we've got these uh, these caps that go with the crystal. So I can just round those. Oh, that's not where it goes. It goes to, oh, come on now, it goes to here. Those two are not connected. And I'll just continue my way around. Um, this is a, a, a cap to plus three. What the heck cap is that? That's Oh, that's a resistor. Okay. Let me just bring this down. It's one less. Okay. Now, we do have a pretty good size 3.3 volt bus that needs to come through everything and I'll need that in a few other spots I need 3.3 all over the place so I'd like to bring a really heavy 3.3 volts over I've got it right here and I've got all these blue traces already on the bottom side of the board so that's going to block me in fact everything is kind of blocking me there so if I bring a trace all the way down or do we have to go to the top? I mean, here's here's a blue one here. And what the heck is that one? There's the button that goes in, and that's clear on the wrong side. We may flip that one, too. That would be easy enough. Button 2 is on pin 11. Well, let's see. Button 2 is on GPIO 8. There's nothing fancy about GPIO 8. Um, and 
you know, let's bring it over here to, uh, what's pin 34 do? Let's see if I could just, or even down here near pin uh, 29, 30, or 31. Something like that would be really convenient for that button. So 29, 29 is GPIO 18. So if I take button 2 and move it to that, So if I take button two and move it down here to GPIO 18, that'll work. Okay, let's just do that. Get rid of the thing there. Move button two, put it there, add a trace. delete the tag that's still there and put in a no connect so everybody's happy okay so now button two has been moved save it back to the printed circuit board it still shows the old tell it to update PC board from schematic I say update close so now this one is nice and short instead of running across my all my electronics Okay, so I've got the 3-volt line in here that still needs to be connected. I've got grounds in various places. Um, so we need to connect those. And I've got a bunch of 3.3s here that need to connect in also. So let me connect. I mean, my bigger concern is the 3.3 volt because that's, that's a heavy power pin. And I've got it right here but I need to have a heavy trace going all the way across the board. And I'm really tempted to move these up so I can just come across. I've got that blocking there, but no, I could come through here. So let me bring, let me bring a heavy trace from one of these. Again, it's 3.3, it's, it's a power bus. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it across from this cap here is where it really ends up. And I'm going to rotate that cap because I, I think it's going to do a little better. Okay, so I want this 3.3 volt here to get over to the regulator. So let's see what we can do about that. So I want a trace. We're at 24 mils. From here, I need a via. and I want to bring it over. Now these blue lines are in my way, but I'm going to fix that in a second here. So I'm going to come down here and stop there. And now, I need to get that up here. And, and these two are, are the USB um, connections and I've got some flexibility on how I move that around so let me just you know I'm not going to be using these four pins here so I can just take this let me just delete a little piece off here and correct that I'm going to delete the well I guess that's okay too let me just delete that like that first and let me delete this one Might as well just get all of that out of there. Okay. So there's that. So now I want to come over here with this guy. And let me... I know what I want to do. Let me just do it. Okay. So I want the 24 mils on the blue side. And it's going to come over here a ways. A little bit too far. And that's okay. And then I'm going to put a via, click it, and go back up to here. Okay, so now I need to fix these guys. So, and they go up to these two vias up in here. So, but I need to get past this blue one before I switch back to blue. So that's not a big deal. And again, these are signals, so we can go back down to six mils. And let me just zoom in here a little bit. And I'm going to take a trace from here and I want to bring it up 
a little bit more and come over here and I need a via. Oh, these have to cross, I bet, don't they? Okay. Okay. And I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Except I'm going to, since I do believe they have to cross, let me just do this. Let me go past it and put a via in. Okay. So there's my two vias I have to connect up in here. So now when I say I want to connect this one on the blue side, it goes to this one. Okay. And that can be pretty much straight. And this one can go to that one. Okay. That works. Now I've still got a couple of traces in here that need to be dealt with, but now I've got, I'm kind of working my way up. So I've got a 3.3 .3 volt that goes to here and that's just kind of a pull up resistor. Let's just go ahead and leave it, leave it. Uh, well, it's got a, I can, I can link that big. It just doesn't cause me any grief at all. So let's go for, I'm on the red side trace starting here. Okay, there's that 3.3 .3 volt. We're down to 54. 3.3 .3 there. Okay. That takes me down to 53. I've got a button that needs to connect in there. Again, that's going to have to flip to the other side, but that's a signal. That's not a power. So we can go back to 6 mils. And I need to go from here. And I'm going to come up a little bit. Oh, you know, I can... I can go between a cap there. Okay. That'll keep me out of trouble. Um, let's see. Got a bunch of grounds and everything, but you know, our board's not looking too bad. We're getting a, quite a few of the traces. We're down to 51. It'll probably take another couple of videos to get there. Okay. So, this is pretty well contained. Um, I've got a few traces here. It looks like these are, that's all 3.3. .3, so I've got a, a thing up there that has to go to 3.3. .3. So let me just bring this over and it's gonna be in red anyway. We're at 24 mil, that. just barely fits, but I can't go all the way in. And I need to flip that to six bills to make the final connection. Oop. We'll start on the other side. Trace. There we go. Okay. So there's that one. We're down to 50. I could still get these out without too much trouble. Oh, those those two lines are going to cause me a little bit of grief because I've got both reds and blue lines on top of each other, which means nothing can go through there. I wonder if I can get off to the side a little bit. So these two wires here are my problem, child. Okay, let me let me grab this cap and say move. I can slide it over just a little bit. And I can get these two traces through that. So let's see here. The SCL and SDA lines. And they also need to go there, but we just need to get them up. So let's start at this end. And we need to be, we'll probably need to be on the bottom side. Six mils. We're going to come out with the, and I just need a via right away. Okay, so that can go up here. And I just want to go right 
past that. Oh, that's LED. What are we doing with LED1 over there? Where's that on my schematic? I can fix that. LED1 is in GPIO1. You know, I can put that anywhere also. I was leaving the ADD converter lines open, but let's see. What else can we, where else can we connect that? I mean, anywhere up in here, those are all kind of taken. I can't do much with those. Those are available, I think. Let's see, what do we got? I want this guy. You know, if we can use one of the A to D converter lines probably to run that because these are just moved in and that one too. Pin 34. No, GPIO 22 is open. Let me move LED, that LED over there because that's that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to leave it on pin 3. And make, make my routing much easier. And that's the whole goal here. So let me just delete that. Hit the escape. Move this. Rotate twice. Stuff it in there. Add that. Um, I do want to delete that little tab piece there. And add a disconnect or not connected flag. Save it, flip back to the other side. Let me reload, update, close. Well, that makes it a little easier. Okay, so now I need to go back in here. That's an unconnected now, so that goes away. I've got these two lines that need to go. That was the one I was worried about. I get confused too. Okay, so. SDA line. I want a VIA. And I want the SCL line. Can I get that through there? Awesome. It won't let you put a VIA if there isn't room for one. Okay. And I could shove these down just a smidge, but it fit, so we're okay. So now these lines have to go on up to these, and I can make them blue now, so that's that's just not a problem. Okay. So let me just run these up. Let me go with the other one first. I just need to get it up in the air. Okay, so those are now out of the area. I've still got a few traces in here. We've got some grounds and 3.3s. There's a 1.1 that needs to connect across. Oh, that's going to be a trickier one. Okay. Well, I've about hit the time limit on this on this video, so I'll probably go ahead and pause it here, and then we will continue on. So, um, save your work. It's it's getting there. We're down to, uh, as I said, 50 un undone traces yet, and uh, I'm kind of working my way around the micro. I've got a few others that are going to be really easy, and a couple others that are going to be a little bit more of a challenge. And we get up in here with the, this is the gyro or, uh, accelerometers, and yeah, that'll be interesting too. So. Okie doke. See you in the next video.